Welcome to eBadge, and today we're riding the Swamp Rabbit Trail. The Swamp Rabbit Trail originally started as the Greenville and Knott'sville, <laughs> Knott'sville Railway opened in 1888. It went from Greenville to Marietta with a charter to Knott'sville, Tennessee and Augusta, Georgia. The rail line only extended to River Falls for a grand total of 23 miles. Wow. Before building and being abandoned, the trains normally carried items like scrap metal and cotton waste. The railway reopened a couple more times and was renamed Greenville and Northern Railway, but it was slowly abandoned with the last section of the line closing in 1970. GNN Railway was bought by the South Carolina Central Railroad, which used it only for one year and then sold it to the Greenville Economic Development Corporation. The railway was then abandoned for a year before Greenville County reutilized it for the Swamp Rabbit Trail. How did all those train tracks even get there? Well, in the June of 1775, Virginia McBee was born. He was a leading pioneer when it comes to trains and mills along the Reedy River, and he led the way forward for the railroads to span across the country because, you guessed it, Greenville was the textile capital of the world. You probably did not guess that now that I think about it. One of the final remnants is this old locomotive. In 2009, the Swamp Rabbit Trail opened to the public. The trail starts just north of Traveler's Rest. It then continues down through Furman University and then downtown Greenville before ending at Greenville Tech. A 2012 study showed that around 350,000 people use the trail yearly. And in 2021, around 500,000 people used it, with only 533,000 Greenville County residents. This shows that the Swamp Rabbit Trail is a big tourist draw and a success. And that's all. Like and subscribe and see you next time on eBadge. Later.